these are all your voltage inputs, these are all your current inputs. If you follow down here, you have phase A, phase B, phase C. These are all monitoring voltage, and these are your current clamps monitoring phase A, current clamp monitoring phase B, and current clamp monitoring phase C. Now, as you can see, I turn the power on, and I have 120 at each phase. And uh, right here, I got my current, very, uh, very little amps. But as soon as I turn on load to phase A, we're in about 11 amps. Turn the load on phase B, 11 amps. Turn the load on phase C, 11 amps. So right now, we're monitoring voltage and current. Now, if we want to see power, we can back out of this menu. We go down to power and energy, hit enter, and I am using an inductive load, so my values are going to be under volt amps at 1.3, 1.4, and 1.2, which is going to correspond to approximately 11 amps that we were seeing on our volt amp menu. Here we have our uh, harmonics menu. As you can see, we're pretty clean here, uh, which is always a good thing. Your, my power source uh, from the wall is pretty clean. There's no harmonics on there, which is typically what you want to see. Something that you can barely see on our neutral line is very little harmonics there. Uh, anything bigger than that is a concern. If you go down to your transient menu, take a look at your uh, each phase. Uh, you're going to go to transient, you're going to hit start, and now you can see all three phases, A, B, and C. Now you can individually look at, uh, look at your current, look at your neutral line, phase A, phase B, and phase C, or all them together at once. What we're going to do now is take a look at our inrush uh, currents. Right now my load is currently off. Uh, the first menu it's going to take you, it's going to give you the duration of time you want to monitor. Nominal amps would be your scaling. Uh, right now it's set at 750 amps, so the scaling is probably going to be a little bit small, but we're going to take a look. So right now, I don't have anything because I don't have my uh, load turned on, but as you can see, if you take a look at the uh, phase A, now it's on, and as you can see, that's the inrush current. Turn, turn that off. You can see it go back down. We'll do phase B. Alright, if you want to take a screenshot of your current view, you're going to click Save Screen here. You're going to name it whatever you'd like. You're going to hit OK. After that, you're going to go to uh, Memory, Recall, Delete. Pull up your screen, it will save the screen eight. Once you view that when you hit view, you're gonna see exactly what you saved. Go to logger, hit down OK. Now uh, these are all your settings. Um, your average time is gonna dictate how much uh, you can save. Right now I have the lowest settings of half a second. You go ahead and hit start, and then uh, it commences to log. just hit on now you can see it's reading 120 volts on each phase and here come the voltage signals there now just like I did in the inrush portion I can take a look and turn my load on and you can see how it affects it You're going to hook up your uh, 435 to your computer and uh, when you hook it up you need to check what communication port it's assigned to it. So you go to my computer and right click and click on properties, go to hardware and check your device manager 
and check the communication port I was assigned to and right here you see it says COM12 uh, Fluke View I believe doesn't go up to COM12 so you're going to have to change your port setting so you right click once again and go on properties and go to your port settings advanced and change your communication to something that's in the Fluke View uh, software in this case I'm just going to use COM3 and there's going to be a prompt uh, if you don't have anything else hooked up to that port just click yes click OK exit the, your windows you're going to go to uh, your Fluke View software and we just assigned it to COM3 and click COM3 and then click connect and uh, the device is connected right now we have it on scope mode so if you want to see uh, what the instrument is looking at you have to go to instrument you display the current screen or you can display a waveform since it's in scope mode you can display waveform and uh, you can select what you want to see on your screen